I needed some house numbers, and I don't want to come off too cheap, but I didn't want to spend any money on them. And so I thought I'd show you how I was going to make some numbers. And if you have a house or if you have some uh, apartments that you need inexpensive numbers, this is generally how I do them. I take a piece of poster board and I fold it into fourths, and that way I can get a symmetrical cut. You can leave it square however you want, but that's generally how I put a little detail into it. And then I go to my word processing program and I kind of play with the size of the font just to get it so that it'll fit, fit well. And then I hit print and then I'm going to cut it out and use it as a template for my board. And I like to stack my boards uh, and it doesn't matter what the thickness is. Uh, generally I like to use outdoor grade plywood. The, the glue in them is uh, will take moisture. But like I said, I'm, I'm just making something inexpensive, actually free. So this is normally how I do it, though. I just build it up, and then uh, you'll see. I'm going to cut my boards down to size. What I needed at this moment was a board that was 7 inches wide and 12 inches long. And I'm going to cut two of them. The last cut is for my numbers, and I used a uh, times Roman numeral on my font, and I used a size 400. And that's going to be roughly just under uh, 4 inches. So I'm going to rip this at 4 inches, and then I can cut out my numbers. Now I'm just cutting the blanks for the numbers. Uh, these particular numbers, I'm just cutting out uh, three inch blanks. Alright, I'm going to take my two boards now and I'm going to tack them together with some very short brads so I can cut the profile of the outer edge without it all moving and they'll be the same. I simply traced out the outline of my template and now I'm going to glue my numbers onto my boards. I use a 3M uh, general purpose, it says 45 spray adhesive. Okay, and this is all I do. Shake it and make my number. And then I'll cut that out on my scroll saw. Simple as that. Using the scroll saw, I'm just going to simply cut out the out side of this and then I'm going to separate it, drill a small hole, cut out the top one and the numbers. So let's get on it. Now I've drilled a small pilot hole in here and I'm going to feed this uh, blade up through it and we'll cut it out. So release the tension on the blade, loosen that up. There you 
go. Now we're ready. Let's try something different for a moment. Let's say you you had a board like this, and instead of throwing it into the fire, or, you know, what can we make out of this? Well, by using a router bit. And remember, it's just scrap. Let's let's do a profile around it and see what happens. Took an ordinary board that you were going to throw out, put a couple of brackets on the bottom. It's a nice shelf. How about we uh, we did the three sides? Let's do the fourth side and see if we got another idea.
How about welcome? How about your house numbers? It's limitless. What I'm just trying to say is for no money, you can decorate your house with just scrap material. It's pretty amazing. You can buy caps that, uh, you know, decorate a tad bit. That would work still fine if we wanted that post out in the middle of the yard. Look how nice that looks. Again, that metal piece, maybe the house numbers right here. Put that router profile on both sides. What do you think of that? You know, or like that. I'm just trying to give you ideas that with scrap material, a couple of tools, sky's the limit.